Hello my friends, it's early March 2019 and we've just got out of the winter. It's 6 o'clock in the morning, I'm in the city of Bucharest and we are on our way to the Witch's Pond. We are 10 minutes away of the sunrise and 7 minutes away of the witch's pond. The forest is in front of us. And this is the final bridge. We are getting into the creepy forest right now. I already feel my heart bumping. We entered the forest through a broken fence and I'm trying to be silent but it's very difficult because there are dry leaves all over the place and they make noise every time I step. A lot of traces of life in this forest. From burst to rats and insects. A lot of stuff. The leaves are just fresh born. I've reached a vegetation fence. Approaching the path through the forest. It looks like a human track. Oh god, I can't believe this. A trunk track. They look like black flags in four corners of something. A horror setup made by crazy people. I hope they did this for a horror movie and not for something else. No, they aren't flags, are kind of tall archers. rather look like garbage bags now. Oh, oh, you know what these are? These are deer feeders. For sure they're putting dry grass here during the winter to feed deers. Thank God. I see some small hills surrounding something like a fence. Let's see what it is. It looks like a pond. I found the creepy pond, but it's not the witch's pond, 
doesn't look like the one I've seen on the internet in pictures. Let's have a tour of the surroundings. That's a dead tree on the road, across the road. It looks to be intentionally placed there by somebody to block the access with vehicles. I can see that it's not new. It has some time since it's here. It got almost, almost eaten by insects. And we have Again, traces of people and dogs and horse. A lot of roads, crossroads and intersections. Human tracks and dog again. This looks like a cancer. And I've seen a little more on the other trees. and animal fuel. I have in front an area where a lot of branches are broken from up what Something happened there. See, they aren't cut at all, they're just broken, and they're broken from up water, some of them from very up. They're broken from a height that isn't reachable for a human, and they aren't cut, they're just broken. It might have been the effects of thunderstrike or storm or something. Okay. We have re just reached the witch's pond. First of all, let's inspect a little bit the surroundings. looks rather like an artificial construction. I'll move the camera out of the stairs so and can see myself. Let's do a 360 tour of the surroundings.
Let's take a closer look to the water. We have human traces and this look like wild boar traces. It's very interesting because people are saying that animals never drink out of this pond. But if they don't drink, what do they do in winter coming so close to the water? Do they want to take a bath? <laughs> At this point, I'll pull out my equipment and I will start to do some measurements. Temperature and humidity look okay. I'll put the numbers onto the screen so that you can make your own conclusions. So if you have any kind of conclusions, please add them in the comment section. The white branch that you see broken was the tip of this white tree here. The tree is young and vigorous. I have no idea what could have broken it like that. It doesn't look burned by lightning and I don't think that the weight of snow could have broken from vertical position. Mm -hmm. 